Hi, I'm Eric. I'm an instructor with the Survival Training School of California, and today we're going to demonstrate how to make an alcohol stove and heater. The very first step is that you're going to take an empty paint can, and you're going to fill it with about an inch to an inch and a half of sand. This sand can be any type. It can be playground sand, just something you dig up from the backyard, any kind at all. The purpose for the sand is to act as an insulator. Once you have your inch to inch and a half of sand, you're then going to take the smaller paint can and you are going to take the cardboard out of a roll of toilet paper And then you're going to take what's left of the toilet paper, you may need to get rid of some of it, and squish it in half and stuff it into that smaller can. Remember, this is a survival situation, so whatever you're not using, make sure you save because you can probably use it for something else. Okay, you want to squeeze that up nice and super tight so it just barely squeezes into the can. There you go. Once it's stuffed in, you're going to fill the rest of that little can with rubbing alcohol, 70% or higher. In this case, we're using alcohol 91%. And you want to make sure you put it in so that it, it gets fully absorbed by the toilet paper. The toilet paper is going to act as wicking in this situation. Make sure it gets nice and absorbed all the way through all of the toilet paper. The reason you want it absorbed is because you don't want the toilet paper burning. You want the alcohol burning on the toilet paper. So make sure it gets nice and filled up all the way. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now you're going to go ahead and you're going to take that little can and you're going to place it on top of that inch and a half of sand inside the bucket. There you go. And then you're going to set the little cans top on top. The reason for that is you want to make sure none of the sand goes into the little bucket. So you're just going to go ahead now and fill up the rest of the bucket with the sand. You want to go all the way around, try and make it centered in the middle. The reason for this is because the sand is going to again act as an insulator to protect, the, to protect you from any burns and the surfaces that you're on from any burns, but it's still going to provide lots of good heat. So you'll notice that Eric is filling it around on all sides nice and even so that the little can on top or the little can that's inside gets nice and centered in there. Now if you don't have sand or you're not able to find sand, you can also use insulation like home insulation. As long as it's something that's not flammable, you should be pretty decent. Even if you need to use like small pebbles or rocks, um, that can work. The problem with those is that they tend to heat up a little bit to a higher temperature. So you notice that some sand is getting on top and that's why we have that cover on the little can inside. And Eric is going to fill this up to, so it's just below the top of the smaller can inside. You don't want to go up exactly to the even so the sand because you don't want the sand pouring into the smaller container. So you're going to go up to just maybe half an inch or even a couple centimeters below the top.
We're going to zoom in right now so you can kind of see. That's about what we're looking for. All right. Now, essentially, the can and the alcohol heater and stove is finished. You just go ahead and remove that small top. And then you're going to take a lighter. And you just go ahead and light that alcohol on top. And you've got your alcohol heater and stove. If you want to adjust the temperature of that, all you do is take that big can's top and you slide it over. And you can adjust the heat and the temperature with that. If you slide the can top all the way over, it should starve the entire thing of oxygen and put it out. So let's go ahead and take a look. And there we go. So that's how you would put it out. And now you have your alcohol heater and stove. If you need to transport it, you can either wait till it's cool or you can take a stick or tongs and you just go ahead and lift it right up and now you can move it wherever you need it to go. If you want to use it as a stove for cooking, all you would do is throw a grate or a grill over the top of it and then put your pot, pans, etc. Um, right on top of that and you can cook directly on it. That's going to last you a good half an hour. Um, actually, it could last up to several hours depending on how much alcohol you have. If you notice that it's starting to dry up, just add some more rubbing alcohol. Thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you in our next tutorial.